fasting, water fasting, intermittent fasting. Why do somebody fast, staying without eating? Is that a good thing? Are you having a hard time while you try to do an intermittent fasting or a water fasting? Stay there to learn more about how to fast properly. Hi, I'm Eduardo Coraça, a raw food nutritionist that lives on a natural hygiene lifestyle for 16 years. So that means I have done a lot of water fasting through the last 16 years. And for 16 years, I have practiced intermittent fasting and also what we call time restricted feeding. So stay there to learn a little bit more about seven mistakes on water fast and intermittent fasting. First mistake for sure when intermittent fasting is chrononutrition. That means people try to fast during the morning and in the late afternoon, in the, at night, they end up eating like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. And, and that's completely wrong. The best time to fast is actually at night. At morning, we are diurnal creatures. We were meant to eat during the morning. So you have a less post-glycemic response after a meal, when you eat the same meal in the morning than comparing to in the, at night. If you eat at night, you have more pro-inflammatory genes being turned on. You cause a raising cholesterol, blood pressure, triglycerides, a lot of things, glycemia, insulinemia, that means a lot of biomarkers are raised when you eat at night. So it's better to have an earlier dinner before 6 p.m., before the night falls. That's the most important time to fast. For sure, the morning is also good, but at night, it's the biggest mistake people doing intermittent fasting makes. Second mistake that also goes hand in hand with chrononutrition, it's having a bad sleep hygiene. That means you have to take care of how you sleep and how much you sleep and the conditions around where you sleep. So if you don't sleep well, in the next day, you have higher ghrelin, less leptin and higher cortisol as well. So you, that means you have more of the hunger hormone, less of the satiety hormone and more of the stress hormone. So you want to eat more, you feel less satiated and you are always choosing more junk food. So your sleep, it's really important for fasting because it, it will control your appetite during the day. Third mistake, fasting doesn't do anything. The body is doing the healing. So again, we have to talk about sleep. When we see light at night, we end up eating at night. We end up staying more late at night. And the DNA repairing mechanisms going down, being less functional and more DNA damage happening. So you have to realize that fast actually starts autophagy. But the most important part of autophagy happens during the night. So the repairing process, the cleaning of the body happens at night. So if you don't take care of the amount of your sleep as well, sleeping at least eight to nine hours per day, I think you're making a huge mistake on the fasting. Fourth mistake going back to junk food after breaking your fast. People start trying fasting before they get a, a good change in their diets. Changing your diet is a really important part of fasting. Why? Because when you are not healthy, when you are not eating a healthy diet, when you try to fast, you have a lot of symptoms. You have headaches, you have low blood pressure, you have a drop in, in your glycemia, you become hypoglycemic. So a good diet with a good amount of fiber, that means a lot of fruits, vegetables, plant-based food, plant foods, whole foods, will cause 
a lot of biochemical changes, gene changes, and hormonal changes that will put your body in homeostasis. So when you fast, it's pretty easy to adapt to the fasting state. Reason five, liquids during fasting. If you are water fasting, for sure, any liquid can break the fast technically, right? But a, a, a little bit of lime, lemon in water, or a little bit of coconut water, for sure will not be a hygienic fast. I mean, a water fast, like principles of natural hygiene, but still, for sure, if you're water fasting, don't eat any liquids besides water. But if you're doing intermittent fasting, I, for example, I do intermittent fasting until noon. I fast from 6 p.m. to noon, but in the morning, around 9 a.m., I usually take a cup of coconuts because I have coconuts in Brazil pretty easily. So I don't see it as breaking my fast, right? So people always ask, coconut water breaks the fast? Lemon with water breaks the fast? Coffee breaks the fast? Technically, in an intermittent fasting, I would say no. So if that's needed for you to stay a little bit longer, for sure, coffee is another issue, but still, any liquids with a little bit of calories and nutrients like lemon or coconut water helps, be my guest. Don't rise too fast. During fasting, mostly water fasting, your blood pressure will go down. It will affect the baroreceptors, as we call. So when you get up out of a bed or of a chair, anywhere you're sitting, go slow. Take your time to get up or else you probably can, you can fall and hit your head. Fasting is not a panacea. That means fasting is not a cure-all. It's not everything. What most people don't realize and make mistakes when they come to ask me about fasting, about healing something, about a disease, anything, that they don't understand there's so many facets to health. So it's like building a construction, building a house. You need the wood, you need the bricks, you need the cement, the architect plan, you need a lot of stuff. So fasting is just one of the parts of natural hygiene, of our biological needs that needs to be provided. So water is a biological need. Species specific food is another biological need. So if you try to fast and go out of the fast to the old bad habits, you end up having the same issues. Fasting is not going to change anything. Maybe give you some, a little bit better physiological functioning for a few months, for sure. But it will not last that long because you are destroying your body. You have to pay attention for all our biological needs. Fasting is just one part of healthful living. You have to give attention to all of the other parts. Exercise, sleeping, uh, eating a good diet, even sleeping on fasting. That one of the big mistakes I made fasting for years. I used to sleep with like a, a movie at 10 p.m. That's quite late. You do damage your circadian rhythm and you damage your repairing mechanisms, that we're trying to raise the mechanisms to making them more effective, right? So pay attention to all the lifestyle habits we need, not just to fasting. Don't use fasting as a cure-all. Are you feeling lost? Are you trying to make a change in your lifestyle habits, in your health, but you don't see how? I can help you. I'm a clinical nutritionist. I can attend patients online as well. We have nine books published. Our first books actually translated to English on Amazon, that is hygienic fasting. We also have six online courses. They're still in, in Portuguese, but they will be soon available in English. And we run retreats every January and July here in Brazil to help you to change your lifestyle habits to a more natural, healthy lifestyle. So 
like the video, the video was helpful, so don't forget to comment below, comment for me if you have done water fasting, intermittent fasting, let me know your thoughts about these mistakes, if you ever made them, and also share, don't forget to share, and hit the subscribe button and the bells to be warned about any new videos, and clicking these videos to learn more.